everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Jen and Christian's with me. And today we have more of a thriller than a horror. But if you want to hear our thoughts on Missing, stick around. I was kind of curious back when it was announced that we were getting kind of a sort of pseudo sequel to uh, to searching with this film, which is basically doing the exact same thing of like person goes missing. It's up to someone related to them in order to find them. But the catch is we're seeing it all through the perspective of their computer screen, through their desktop, through their Snapchat, so on and so forth. It's a fun setup for a horror movie and there's a lot you could do with it. And this movie succeeds at doing a lot of cool stuff that the first film didn't, I feel. Yeah, I'm actually going to take a hot take because I, well, I think a lot of people did enjoy this film. I, the consensus seems to be that Searching is the superior one of the two. I'm actually going to say that I actually had more fun with this movie, and I, and I, and and a lot of people I think were worried because the original director did not come back for this one, but who we did get back is Nicholas Johnson and Will Merrick, who were editors on Searching, and they, you know, one of the things the big praises from Searching was all the cool camera tricks and how they made a computer just sitting in it there looking at a computer screen look really interesting and they managed to even improve and enhance this in missing and i think it's a really a big uh big uh, boost to the movie you can absolutely tell that the editors from the first film are the directors for this one because that's what this movie is all about like the is it's all about like making the movie even more dynamic than the first one is and doing all kinds of co cool visual tricks and cool ways of showing like because you th you hear the premise of like oh it's a story of someone who's trying to find someone but you only see it through their computer screen there's not a lot you necessarily could do with that premise but this movie succeeds at doing really cool and dynamic stuff like there's something uh towards like the beginning of the third act when we zoom out and i genuinely was like oh wow i was actually genuinely surprised that we were doing something and it's nothing like super uh, super uh, super shocking or anything but it was a very cool visual, uh, visual style that i haven't seen another movie of this like do before I would agree with you on that. And another thing this movie really does is it kind of puts one foot into the old fogies category and one into younger people's like people like my age or older, you know, who kind of still, you know, um, they, don't get me wrong, people. I'm not that old. Like the Internet was a thing, but it was you grew up with the Internet. I, sort of like barely yeah. like it was it was I was a I was a teenager or like the last two years of high school is when it started to become the less of an anomaly and more people were using it and it was becoming common in homes and stuff but barely just when I was in high school um so I'm not as tech savvy as say someone in your generation and I think this movie really shows you know all the cool things and how interesting the computer can be and like it shows like the older people how they're having a little bit more trouble and how this one the our main character is just a fucking like Sherlock Holmes with a computer. Basically, she's a she's like a servant with this computer. She she knows how to see things. She knows how to search things. And you wouldn't think that would be a very interesting premise, but watching it, the movie is actually very engaging. And I was very impressed with that. It kind of it kind of bridges the two generations. I thought. I thought it, I was thinking about that last time I was watching the film. I thought it, it did very good at that. Well, the original the original film also. Did that I think because you had John Cho searching for his teen daughter in that movie, whereas in this one you have a teen daughter searching for her mother. Um, mm -hmm. So it kind of is an inverted way. Whereas John Cho was like knew, like you said, knew how to use computers and whatnot. He was a lot more basic, uh, basic when it came to stuff like. So it kind of made sense that that movie was a lot less dynamic um, with the way it utilized its uh, the computer and whatnot, as opposed to this movie, which is just all about those. Like I said earlier, those super cool, uh, super cool and interesting ways to use the use the computer screens and use various websites and stuff and make it super interesting from both the editing, the cut, uh, the from uh, from both the editing to just the style of it all and even the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, I would say that another big praise with this movie is definitely the writing. While this isn't like the best written thing I've ever run across, it actually like there was a point in the movie when I thought, oh, OK, we're, we're this is a red herring. We're going to, you know, very much mm -hmm. by the numbers. And then the movie does a few twists and turns. And like when you think about it, yeah, you could see this coming. But the movie is so fast paced. And that's another thing about this movie, even though this has like almost a two hour runtime, it doesn't feel like that. It's very brief. 
briskly pace, boom, ba ba da boom, ba da boom. And you're and you know mm -hmm. me, I, I get bored a little easier than you do. And I never was bored with this. This was a very fast pace. And like I said, the writing was actually very strong with this. And I thought we were gonna do some very hackneyed cliche things, but the movie actually surprises you and does some things that are a little smarter than a lot of these standard the thrillers sometimes do. I, I actually like this one better. I like I said, I I'm gonna I'm gonna say it hot take. I like this better than searching. I think this is a better I like this one better. I'm with you on that one from especially from my writing standpoint. I think the writing in this one, the story that it tells is a a lot like it's still pretty bad if you took away the computer elements and the visual aspect movie it wouldn't be anything super interest memorable really but adding that stuff into the film really gives it a nice flavor um the, and as well as like just the overall story compared to the first one like the first one that was the weakest element for me was like the basic story of him trying to find his dark because anyone who's seen the original uh, searching knows there's a there's a certain like mystery element of that movie as to who kidnapped his daughter or who covered up uh his his daughter going to me super obvious and super unsatisfying because just kind of see who it is pretty early on in the movie whereas this one it also sort of has those elements but it doesn't it's not it's a lot more curveballs with as opposed to the original searching as well as the only now the only thing i will say i do prefer and it might just be because i'm a, a big john cho fan but the only thing i will say i did prefer john cho in the original film at compared to our lead in this movie she's really good but man it might just be because i really like john cho as an actor but i did uh -huh. kind of find myself a little bit more compelled by him as opposed to our main character in this movie now her story is way more compelling but just from a performance side i prefer john cho i think john cho was a better lead I, I can I, I understand that I would actually be I would disagree with you for me personally I I preferred our female lead in this one to I like John show a lot I think he's an amazing actor but I actually preferred I thought she brought a lot of nuanced character especially for someone so young and she's pretty much carrying the whole film oh, yeah. and she doesn't have anyone to really I mean she has computer screens but she doesn't have a lot of a lot of other people behind her to kind of bounce off of and she carries the lead really well this is one of those movies that's a good one for Saturday Saturday, uh, Saturday afternoon, and I feel like this one has also kind of gone under the radar. It got a little bit of buzz, but you haven't heard much of it now, and I really well, think that's a shame. Yeah, well, I mean, it came out in, in mid-January, and, like, it's a sequel to a movie for that's, like, four years old at this point, and even then, the original Searching, like, critics loved it, and people who saw it really liked it, but it wasn't a super massive movie, um, so I can kind of see that this movie was just sort of destined to sort of fall into a little bit bit of obscurity sadly this movie was kind of sent out to die almost but it was what it was like january this year was actually really solid with releases and this is another one you can throw into that pile of like a really solid flick that kind of it got a lot, a lot that people kind of slept on that came out in early in january in my opinion Yes. And another thing, oh, go, going again with my praises with the writing, I really like, I feel like this has a lot more depth to this, like, like where it's not just a standard, yes, it's about her trying to find her mother, but it's also kind of, again, about trauma, about a girl who's growing up. I, I thought the scene at the very beginning of the movie was very poignant, you know, where we're set on Father's Day and she sees everyone posting mm -hmm. pictures of all of their, you know, with their dads and stuff. And like, maybe because I'm a girl who doesn't have a particularly great relationship with my father, I could relate to that and stuff and how she posts mm. the picture because she wants to be like everybody else. Also, another thing this movie really does is commentary with like, because at the, toward the end of the movie, um, just like we saw with the Gabby Petito case, you see in the movie, all these, you know, got uh, people on TikTok and YouTube making videos and making judgments without having half the information, which, you know, human nature, we tend to do, but this is a very good commentary on that and on true on, and true crime tube and all of that. I thought it was really smart. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, it is a really, I do like the bit where it's kind of talking about like true crime talk slash tube. Um, mm -hmm. I do like that. There is one, that is the most unbelievable element of this movie though, to me. How so? I don't believe that many fucking um, like true crime tubers would be talking about this case because it's about a black woman going missing and they never care about that unless it's a white blonde bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry. I had to get it in there. I, I, that's, that, that was was when I was watching the movie the one time I was like I don't believe this I don't I know enough about true crime too I don't fucking believe this for a second yeah you'd be surprised there's a there's one one gal that I I'm watched sorry that does a lot. <laughs> I'm um, sorry but, can you but, tell I uh, can you tell I have a bone to pick with true crime talk and stuff 
but but I but the movie really does handle it, and I liked how it showed just people, you know, leaving really hateful comments. And this sadly happens, you know, anybody who's ever had to deal with be in this person's shoes. I thought this was handled very well, and it wasn't it, the movie wasn't taking a side; it was just showing the nature of the beast. And I thought it handled it really well. And then and then I also really like the dynamic, the mother daughter dynamic and stuff. And like you know, you don't know what you got till it's gone. And I like how she kind of our main character going through an arc and not really appreciating her mother until oh my god she doesn't have her mother anymore um it yeah. sounds a little schmaltzy but the movie handles it very well and not very like, schmaltzy like i said earlier this premise alone in this movie alone would be a pretty bland generic like straight to netflix thriller um mm -hmm. it would be solid enough but uh, but the thing that really enhances the movie is its visual aspect much like the original surgery like the, the way this movie dynamically uses computer screens is super damn cool like there's like there's the one i've talked about at the beginning of the third act that i really like where it pans out of her computer screen and you see something else um mm -hmm. that i really like but there's a lot of other just really really cool visual flares to the movie that really gives it a personality all its own even separate from the original searching Mm, I like that too. And another thing I really like is our uh, is the guy she hires to do her errands in the other country. I thought that was a really clever tr mm -hmm. trick, and it, it was smart. And I, I liked. Uh, I thought it just shows how resourceful she is. And I also, and some people might eye roll, but I thought that was really smart, where she has to talk to the one hotel, and they only speak Spanish, so she translate. She uses Google to translate it, so she can kind of understand what the hell is yeah, going yeah. on. Very, it shows her very resourceful, and I guess some people might roll their eyes, but I thought that was actually pretty clever and very believable. Yeah, no, totally. I, I like that. I like that a lot. But uh, do you have any major cons with this movie? Um, no, nothing really. Like, like I said, like overall, I really like, I really think this is all a movie in, in pretty much every way an improvement over the original searching. Like I do prefer John Cho's just performance as a performance, but again, I'm a big John Cho's fan. So that might be playing a part in it. Um, but I think our leads very, it carries the movie really damn well. I, the, this is a massive improvement from a visual aspect. I think the story is while still nothing exceptional, still a big improvement over the original uh, film and has a lot more interesting twist that you probably won't see as uh, see coming as obviously as you did with certain reveals in the original film um i just think this is overall like basically nothing that this movie doesn't do than the original like mine is personal preference with the lead like overall i think this is a marked improvement over the original film in every way so yeah positive for me I would agree with you. I think this one is a slept on movie and I, th I think it's a damn shame. Now, like, again, is this horror? No, it goes more into the thriller category. But if you're looking for just a fun movie that's going to engage you, you need a couple of hours to kill on a weekend afternoon. This one would be really good. It's, and it's going to surprise you. Like I said, it's nothing. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not phenomenal writing, but it's a, it's a lot. You you think for a second this is going to be very generic and cliched. And the movie kind of does, does a few tricks up its sleeve and it really works really well i really enjoyed this film i think it's a one that's slept on and i think people should see it i'm gonna give this a solid b plus and i think i strongly recommend checking it out it's a fun good time especially if you yeah, like absolutely. your thrillers so so sorry we've been missing so much hopefully christian won't be missing too much longer maybe just a couple more weeks and he'll be back home we'll try to get videos out when we can guys but i'm just i'm not even gonna lie to you guys no promises but we'll do the best we can uh you will get to see me on horror hangouts on two Tuesday night with Monty G, Sean Patrick Erskine. We're going to be talking all about books and horror, and we're going to be talking about the best adaptations and the worst adaptations. Where have I heard that line? It was the best of adaptations, and it was the worst of adaptations. And we're going to be having a very special guest, uh, Trivial Theater, and we possibly might have someone else joining us as well. So, but you got to tune in on Tuesday to check out that, and it'll be on Sean Patrick Erskine's channel. So with all that out of the way, booze and ghouls, we thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking with us. And hopefully we will see you back real soon. We wish you a good day, a good evening, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys. Soonish. Soonish. Soonish.